This is Mark Bell with Rogue Fitness, and we're going to talk a little bit about accommodating resistance. I'm not really sure why it's called accommodating resistance, because it just makes the whole lift a lot harder. But what it does do is it gives you a gradual resistance. The weights are lighter at the bottom, and they're heavier at the top. It teaches you to accelerate. It teaches your body to become faster, to become quicker. When the weights are lighter at the bottom, that is the worst position you can be in at the bottom of a lift, at the bottom of a bench press, or the bottom of a squat. The weights are lightening up for you. As you come back up, as you gain a mechanical advantage, the weights are loading back up on you. So Jesse Burdick's gonna demonstrate the safety squat bar, squat with some chains. Typically the chains would be a little bit longer than they are right now, but just for demonstration purposes, we just got it set up like this. And watch as each link kind of hits the ground as he goes to squat downward. Good. I use the chains with a lot of my athletes, um, with a lot of uh, the power lifters I work with, but also with a lot of the crossfitters. Um, a lot of times we'll use the chains as almost like a down week or a week where we almost back off. The bar weight will be a lot lighter, but they'll use a lot more chain weight. Again, they'll have a reduced load in the bottom of the lift, be less overall stress on their lower back, but they'll still get a good stimulus of handling something heavy.